In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the most popular daily trainers of 2002 that's gone all trail. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs and Trail HQ. Maybe not, because this is a new fashion thing that's going on in the running shoe world. The shoe manufacturers, geniuses that they are, are trying to give us these sort of road to trail shoes and we're following up on some of the other videos we've done about these sort of road to trail shoes because they've gone out and done exactly what they've done to like the Nova Blast to the Saucony Ride series. So this is the Saucony Ride 15 TR. Now the Ride 15, let me know in the comments if you've got that, was one of the best daily trainers of 2022 but they pimped it up with the trail version so think Pegasus Trail. This is where this has all come from. I believe. Um, we've got in here, we've got Power Run Midsole Steel, we've got a new um, sort of more rugged uh, upper with some sort of toe bumpers-ish. We've got, now I can never remember the name of it, the Power Track outsole on this bad boy. Um, we've got a pull tab on the back which is you know, pointless, but it's still got all the comfort of the original ride but it's just sort of, yeah it's a little bit more rugged. Now the shoe's 130 pounds, eight mil drop. And it, these shoes remind me, now this is a really bad example, so let me know if you can think of a better example. But um, back in, <laughs> I'm showing my age, but like quite a while ago, I remember like Volvo and Audi, they had like these big uh, estate cars. Um, and they then made like, it was a V50, V40 or whatever it was, and like the Audi A6, they, they made like these all road versions of them. So they basically pimped up a normal estate car and they made it sort of more rugged and gave it four wheel drive. That's kind of what I'm thinking with these shoes. So it's great to sort of poodle around the shops and go to Tesco's and then, you know, drop the kids off at school. But then when you want something a little bit more rugged, maybe, I don't know, the conditions are a little bit worse because of the weather, whatever you've got the four-wheel drive there and it's a little bit more rugged, a little bit higher in terms of ride height. And that's basically what I'm thinking with these shoes. So in terms of this shoe, what it's like, well, it's like a ride. It's, it's a little bit firmer than the um, Guide 15 because I'm basing this on, on the Guide 15 because I didn't go for the ride, but that's basically the same insult to a degree apart from the um, insert. But the, the Power Run definitely feels a little bit firm, which I don't mind on a sort of road to trail shoe. I don't want anything that's soft because I want something that's going to support me when I'm on the trails. Uh, I've been mainly running these down the canal and tow paths and um, just up the top here we've got some fields and things like that. I run buds around there um, when he's, uh, <laughs> when Mrs. Ford doesn't want him coming back dirty. But I've been running buds up in the fields and it's grass, it's a little bit mucky, stuff like that to host these down to make this video because they were a little bit mucky. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a grassy area, so I want something that's not going to be slip sliding around, but I've got to do road and path to get up there. Um, and that's where the shoe's been mainly worn, actually, um, and that down the canal path as well. And it's been fine. It's been, it's been exactly what I would expect from a sort of ride um, running shoe. Uh, it's comfortable. It fits true to size. I can't remember the weight. I wrote it down. Um, 289 grams, so it's not overly heavy. And it is that sort of nice blend uh, for road to trail. Um, and yeah, I, I don't think I can really say much else positive about the shoe other than, you know, it will do exactly what you want. So if you're a fan of the, the Ride series, that, that daily trainer from Saucony, but you want something with a lot more traction during the winter from Road to Trail, then definitely have a look at it. I think these are going to get discounted down as well. Um, it's going to be interesting comparing it to the Nova Blast 3 TR. That's going to be an interesting video. Uh, we will do a versus of those, but this is definitely a a sort of fashionable sector that they've come across because I know there's some other shoes out there that's that's sort of that road to trail winterized shoes and we'll do another couple of videos on them I think because there is definitely some demand out there for these sort of shoes but yeah so um just to wrap it up because we don't spend too much uh, time on this the Saucony Ride 15 TR it, it is what you'd expect from a Saucony Ride 15 it's got the added capability of the uh, rugged outsole with the power track it is a little bit firmer but it will do exactly what you want over the winter months if that's what you want in terms of traction you want something a little bit better underfoot for those winter months then definitely have a look at the Ride 15 TR <laughs> 